right, welcome back to the most news in the morning. One Girl Scout turned to the internet to sell more Girl Scout cookies for her troop. With the help of her dad, she linked a page to Facebook where people could order cookies online, and she even posted this adorable YouTube video. Check it out. Hi, I'm Wild Day Freeborn, and I need you to buy some cookies because I'm trying to sell 12,000 to help my troop go to summer camp. Seems innovative and innocent enough, right? Well, the Girl Scouts of America says that they're actually breaking the rules that clearly state you cannot sell cookies online and they want her to stop. Joining me now is Brian Freeborn and his daughter, Wild. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having us. Well, let me ask Wild first. How close did you get or have you gotten so far to your goal? Like 8,000 or above. Your, your troop has sold 8,000 cookies? Eight, 800. Oh. All right, well, close enough. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, what, what's been going on with this. So you guys, you are a web designer, and so you're savvy with the Internet. You helped her post this video and also helped her um, link up a page where people could order cookies online. What was the response from the Girl Scouts? What did they say to you? Well, the Girl Scouts have never really officially, Girl Scouts of America has never really officially said anything to us. The local council asked us to take down the YouTube video, um, and, uh, and so we did. But the video was posted on other locations. And uh, so we kept those up along with the order form. There's no monetary transaction taking place over the internet for uh, Wild and her troop and the Girl Scout cookies. So we thought that we were well within the spirit of the rules because you know we're in agreement that uh, we don't want sales taking place online. But there seems to be a very distinct difference between a sale and an order. However, the Girl Scouts, um, if you dig really deep on their website, you can find where they don't seem to think there's a difference. Right, and they say that they um, that they're not that you're not allowed to sell them online or sell them on the internet. That what you can do is you can use GirlScoutCookies.org to let family and friends know where they could go in person to buy the Girl Scout cookies. And in your situation with that page, um, they're able to just place their order. And then what happens after that? After that, Wild and her troop fulfills the order. But would you ship them then? We aren't shipping to anyone. Uh, everyone has to be within our city, uh, and so because there has to be the face-to-face -face transaction, um, Wild or someone from her troop has to go to uh, the person and right. deliver the cookies. So in your mind, do you feel you broke the rules? No. And, uh, and what, what do you think about the fact that the Girl Scouts say that perhaps in the future they will open this up? They say that right now we're not doing this, but that it, it's not a definite no, it's just a not right now, that maybe they will sell online. Well, I think, you know, you look at any legacy organization that's been around as long as they have, um, you know, 90 plus years. Uh, I think yesterday was their big anniversary. Uh, this is Girl Scout week. You know, they're going to have rules that aren't able to um, change as quick as technology is changing. Right. And I have, I have a firm belief that in the next year their policy will be updated and they'll probably provide technology um, that's based out of the Girl Scout uh, platform for Girl Scouts and their troops to utilize online technology to promote. Girl Scout cookie sales. I got you. Well, Wild, thanks for coming in and bringing your dad. And do you, what do you think before we leave? Do you think you're going to get enough for your uh, for your trip to go to summer camp? Probably. All right. Well, good luck to you, and thanks for joining us this morning. We Thank appreciate you. it. That's going to do it for us this morning. We're so glad that you joined us on American Morning. Rob Marciano filling in, uh, and Monday John Roberts will be back. And right now, CNN News from with Heidi Collins begins.